Imagine for a second that I, I'm President Trump, you're talking to me and you have an opportunity to say what I need to do to respond to this crisis within the realm of what is politically feasible. Mm -hmm. You would say what? So I'm running a humanitarian organization. I'm not gonna advise him on Pentagon military strategy. What I would say to him is one, decide that you really care about the fate of these people and the geopolitical impact of more instability in Syria and across the Middle East. Secondly, make it absolutely clear to the Russians, to the Iranians and to the Syrians that there are consequences, costs, for the way the war is being prosecuted in uh, Syria. Third, make absolutely clear that you've got some immediate demands. One, stop the shelling and the missiles. Two, let the humanitarian aid flow because the UN has a whole uh, list of demands that it needs of more aid uh, to come in. Three, treat the, wound the wounded who need help now and whose trauma has to be addressed. Fourth, and finally, stay with this. This is not just, the fate of Syria is not just for Syria, Iran, S Syria and um, Turkey to decide. This needs to be brought back into the international arena where the US and others alongside the Syrians and the Russians and the Iranians have a say.